Hey guys! Okay, so I'm watching H3 podcast, but we have a bark box, which is a subscription box for my doggo. So welcome to the first vlog. Like, hi. We're elevating this channel. We are rebranding this channel. Hey, I'm a mukbang channel and I've gained 125 pounds. <laughs> I thought my phone just vibrated. Someone told me not to leave it in my breasticle area because like breast cancer, that's terrifying. I have been loving filming and just talking and showing you guys I can't open this box. I'm trying so hard. I'm just showing you guys my, my, my lame life, if you will. No, my life is not lame. I am very grateful for everything in my life. I am grateful that I am able to stand and walk and breathe and talk. You know, people coming at me with, your life is so boring. Why do you vlog it? Because I can. You know, every single vlogger that I watch, their vlogs are just like mine. <gasps> pool party animals. So it's pool party animals. <gasps> oh my God. Pool boy pouches, margarita, shut up. <laughs> oh my god, this is one of those floaties. And it came with a uh, gobble, jerky nibbles, chicken stick recipe, salmon recipe, swimmy jerky bars, then another chicken, uh, chicken stick recipe. So this is me rebranding into a just vlog channel. Still gonna have the hauls, challenges. We're gonna do tags routines we're gonna just do it all the weigh-ins the what i ate today's go shopping with me let's go on date night like it's all just gonna be compacted in vlogs that's what i want you guys prefer my vlogs over any other video that i post i will say mukbangs will forever be top tier on my channel that is what gets me the most views but it's not what makes me the happiest mukbangs make me more money but mentally that's not when i feel the best i just feel mentally heavy when i'm just posting mukbang so but we will have eat with me segments in vlogs you know cook with me like everything will just be vlogs um i do have some things we need to discuss things about my health uh, just like updates on certain things because the last video you guys saw for me was a week ago yeah because i am like ahead on my filming which i prefer and i'm making a lot of content so it makes it to where I have like tons of videos to schedule for you guys um, and it also makes it to where I'm able to have you know like the week break that I just took um, my girlfriend actually took vacation from her job the last week so I said you know I'm gonna do the same you know I'm not gonna film or anything which I didn't it kind of gives me time to like have mental break because having to talk about myself all day long is hard like when I had a normal job in the past I have filled out at least 30 applications in my lifetime and like I never get callbacks a lot of places really want people with experience which is Really understandable but it's like how do you get experience if you can't gain experience get it because i was going to another job where i had to focus on anything but myself but like being a youtuber which i'm not complaining because i know other youtubers are open about it which i love that our job is literally to talk about ourselves and when we're going through like mad bad mental health why I, I cannot turn on a camera and just talk about myself sure i could talk about stuff that's going on in the world and all that but it's like just hearing myself have to like communicate i i it's just hard. I'm about to go have me a coffee, so let's do it. That one's my girlfriend's. I'm about to make coffee. I'm gonna pour it in here first, just so I can measure like how much I actually truly want, so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm using my Starbucks cups. Some ice, and then I'm gonna pour the coffee. I didn't want to pour the coffee first, because it's like boiling. That's how my brain works. We're gonna add some more. I'm gonna be adding this um, caramel premier protein shake. Hill to the yeah. It's like in replace of creamer or whatever. That literally fit perfectly. Look at that. Yes, baby? Yeah, I'll make yours. So I'm gonna add Stuvia Trivia. Stivia? Who knows what this is called? But it's a uh, fake sugar. So I'm just gonna add a little bit. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, vanilla. This is zero calories, it's just uh, Starbucks vanilla. Oh my god, that came out so fast. Oh sis, that's bomb. I'm not gonna add the fake sugar. <laughs> 
to my girlfriend's though because I think that'll be too sweet for her. I will be adding some of the vanilla from the Starbs. She's gonna use my pink Starbs. <laughs> got the creamer slash protein shake and then I'm gonna add some vanilla there we go two protein coffees made at home super simple love that for us good morning hello hello but I am super ahead on video and I know some of you call it behind but I call it ahead because I'm doing more work crazy that this is work am I right it doesn't feel like it I, it's, it's, I don't know, but favorite time of the day, getting my coldest water bottle filled with ice and water. These things are a life changer. Like, just watch them fall, just with ease, okay? Oh, cleared. I've become a professional. I'm the one who puts the completed ice in the container, and my girlfriend fills these up. I also have to get a new memory card for this freaking camera because it keeps messing up. I'll be like filming and then it'll say memory card locked. Completely delete the footage that I just filmed and then I have to redo it. I've tried fad diets, powders, pills. Still my weight's been up and down like a yo-yo until the AIDS plan taught me how to take off weight and help keep it off. AIDS may taste like a candy, but AIDS contains one of the most effective appetite suppressants you can buy. And there's no stimulant in AIDS that could make you nervous. With AIDS, I ate less, so the weight came off. To help keep it off when I sometimes want things loaded with calories, AIDS helps put me in control. Let the AIDS plan teach you how to take off weight and help keep it off. Try peanut butter AIDS. Okay, the lighting is making me look unwell, or like I'm going through an interrogation. So I already started filming this, but my memory card is messing up, so... It deleted the whole clip. So we have a grocery haul. First things first is Diet Coke caffeine free. Let me turn this light off and see what it looks like. I don't even know my apartment. I don't, I don't like the lighting. I mean, for like a normal person, but not for a vlogger, bad lighting. I meant to only get one thing of Mexican shredded cheese. I put this one in the cart. I meant to take it out because I meant to get this one. But then when I put this one in the cart, I forgot to take this one out. I love to snack on cheese snacks. So my favorite is the Colby Jack. It's real fresh strawberries dipped in this white and dark chocolate situation type deal. 10 out of 10, you keep those in the freezer. Um, it's nice and cold. It definitely hits the sweet spot and the chocolate spot. So next bag, got some Pyrex containers. Got two glass ones. This is just for like meal prepping. And we needed like a little bit of a bigger one. And I prefer glass over plastic. Plastic creeps me out. The smell of it, how it starts to look, how it makes the food taste. And I wash my dishes perfectly. I'm very like anal about that. So it definitely has nothing to do with that. It's just like creeps me out and I'm overly sensitive to like plastic containers. Next thing is some Claritin, just allergy medicine. We got some onions and some zucchini because lately we have been doing zucchini and onion just like together on the stove. Dunkin' coffee maple and brown sugar oatmeal. This is turkey pepperoni. And I meant to order um, like pizza sauce and some mozzarella cheese. So I wanted to make my own like little pizzas. This is the only ingredient I have for it now. Um, love that for myself. They're like mini corn on the cob and it's only 50 calories for one. And I know my girlfriend likes corn on the cob and so we both really love these. It's the creamy coconut outshine bars. It's just some apples. I'm gonna go put all this away and then I'm gonna go on Amazon like literally right now and I'm gonna order another memory card because we can't keep having footage delete. Okay, so right now we're like doing meal prepping moment. Um, so a serving of this cooked, cause we did it raw and then we did it cooked. Uh, but a serving of chicken cooked is 2.8 uh, for only 120 calories. And then we need tons of rice, but um, a serving cooked is a cup. And then we have veggies cooking, so I'll add that at the end. These are just gonna be like bowls that are cooked. They're, this is 400 calories per each. And then once I add the zucchini and onion, which is right here, um, it'll just be like another 15 calories or 20 calories or so. Like this is the first time we're trying like bulk <laughs> cooking, just so we don't like take, order takeout and stuff. Um, just the remainder of the rice we're gonna put um, in the fridge and stuff. 
meal prep in so life is easier. Okay, so this is my bowl for now. So we just do zucchini and onion, which is delicious, low calorie. So now I'm just gonna add it to little bowls. Look how delish. Okay. Okay, you guys, so I'm actually thinking about starting this book finally, A Little Life by Hanya. I'm not gonna say the last name because I don't wanna mess it up or butcher it. So thank you to the person who actually reached out to me and told me about that, that there's a lot of trigger warnings for this book, which makes me kind of nervous. Yeah, it's called A Little Life. And from what I've been told, maybe it should be called A Little Sad Life. <laughs> I did get the hardcover, which I kind of regret it now because I feel like this book would be more comfortable read um, as paperback. It's 720 pages. Ooh, that's a lot. I'm actually thinking about getting a Kindle. I, I low-key want a Kindle. I just want like the white one. It's like super small. I think it's like 80 something dollars. Like that's so cheap. Plus like I love having a book, a physical book. I love it in my hand. Um, very old school. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Technology has taken over. But sometimes like it is bulky and sometimes I do want to read in the car. But like having this huge hardcover book is like not comfy when you're in the car. I'm gonna be honest. I like to bring like whatever I'm reading. I like to bring it with me. Um, so that's why I'm currently using a bigger purse because of this book because I knew I needed to switch over my purses because I was like this is the next book I'm gonna read yes I choose my purses based on what book I'm reading <laughs> if I had that Kindle which is so cute it's so cute it's just like a cute little white moment um like there's also a black option but I noticed that like white options for like technology just seems more like clean and modern looking um so it just depends on how you're feeling yeah I think that's probably gonna be my next purchase that I make for myself I'm trying not to spend as much money as usual because I have like a lot of savings but you know what I do not believe that people work just to pay bills so no um if you have the money treat yourself I am gonna end this video I hope that you guys enjoyed my first vlog back wow um love that for me there's gonna be more hopefully not as like boring I want to get you know in the vibe of filming again because it's been like two weeks um we're getting more closer in real time so yeah anyways i hope that you guys did enjoy it and i'll see you guys in my next one by the way I, I do have some things i need to talk to you guys about but we're gonna save those for some future vlogs it's kind of some serious stuff so yeah i'm <laughs> just letting you guys know i'm gonna go because i'm rambling and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>